Hey friends and welcome to my channel. I'm Yoshida and this is Norris Cove. You guys, today I have a flip through, a detailed flip through of my personal Philofax um, Richmond Planner. I did a flip through on my Instagram, but I wasn't too, too specific of the things that is in here, how I set things up, but I'll give you a detailed look now. So if you'd like to see what I have in my personal Richmond Philofax, stay tuned. Okay, you guys, so the first thing, I got this planner from the thrift store, okay? I just found it on a whim. On my Posh, I'll try to leave a link to my Posh boutique, but um, last year I started finding all these planners. People were getting rid of planners like the beginning of the year, and they were nice planners. I could tell they were nice planners. They just wasn't for me. I wasn't really into rings at the time, and now I think about it, there were some pocket rings that I had, and I sold so I was in a thrift store one day just on a whim looking for stuff to sell on my posh and came across this one. So I had asked my Instagram friends, like, should I sell it? Because I kind of knew it was worth something, which I'm just drawn to expensive stuff anyway. But I knew this was worth something. And uh, most of my Instagram friends were like, no, you need to keep that. So I was like, OK, I'll keep it. So I attempted minimal planning in here. It didn't go so well. All I did was um, track my orders. And that's it. And it stayed on my desk. Nothing more, nothing less. So this year, I said, I'm going to give it another try. And I'm just going to set it up um, for the cheap. I'm not, I don't want to spend a lot of money with purchasing inserts from like cloth and paper and other places. And I don't use it like I didn't use it last year. So anyway, I purchased this um, clip here from Ollie Clip. I'll try to leave the link below. I love, 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 love these. And... Um, Oh, again, I don't think I paid maybe $5 for this. It was less, I believe. Highly, it was less. Probably three. I don't know. So here on the left side, which I think is getting a little janky, I have this paper clip because a lot of the little dots that I use, I need to purchase. I mean, I need to pick them up with the paper clip. I have this little kind of flag I made out of some vellum that I got from like Michael's. Um, this little paper clip I made last year sometime. It is just something I think I downloaded off of Pinterest. I turned it into a die cut, laminated, and just stuck a paper clip in there. Uh, this die cut is a die cut I was selling at one point in a sticker, and it is just a chandelier die cut. And then I just threw these in here because I found them on my desk, and they are just some little um, icons, gold foil, or either rose gold, rose gold foil icons. And then this is a freebie from Jessica, I don't know, Jessica PR sampler. I don't know where I got that from. And then I have this little um, journaling card. It was a pack of like journaling cards I got out of Joanne's, I believe. And then on the inside here, I was cleaning up my room and realized I hadn't opened a box from Simply Gilded. I believe it was my last subscription box, and it's just, I don't know, I think it's a journaling card as well, um, probably B6 or pocket size, and then I just have some bows here from Nikki Plus 3, I have some bows here that are from Panda Bird Design, I'll try to remember to leave all the links below of everything that I got, and these are just, um, I think they're date separators, page separators, uh, I forgot what you call them. Um, you just separate like through your, um, on your day, day separator, I believe. And then these are some that I made. I think they're a little too thick. I'm gonna take those out. And then I got these from Brooklyn Grace Co. last year, but they were so hard to get off the paper and I kind of tore them up. And so when I ordered my inserts from her last year, this is what I got. I'm gonna retire these two. And so I'm gonna put this back. Okay, moving along, this is a piece of acetate that um, I cut for this planner. I got this from either Michaels or Joann's. I have some sticky notes on here. I had more, but um, it was just coming off, so whatever. And then I made this dashboard out of laminating paper and a simply gilded um, bow that came in a subscription. And I just put it down in the lamination and made a, made a dashboard. And then this planner will have probably more color than in my A5 business. But this is from Digital Dash. I love Starbucks, y'all. I love it. 
I love coffee. And so when I saw that this was available, I was like, yes, I got to put that in something. So this is what I have here. And then this is a dashboard that came with the planner. It needs to be white down. I think it's got something on it. But it came with the planner. It's a clear divider. And then this is a download from Pinterest that I did. And then here's another download from Pinterest that I did. Also, I'll try to leave my Pinterest below. And I have a whole planning section on there. Some things were saved to there. Some things are not. And I'll just leave that below. And then here is... Um, some vellum. I thought this was like a pink or peach, but it looks a little vanilla-ish, but I just used that on the top of my um, year at a glance. And then here on my year at a glance, I took some dots from Planner Kate and just put all the important birthdays in pretty much. And then of course my anniversary. And then like if there's a vacation or something, I'll add another dot. But so far, oh, I do have a vacation. I need to add a dot. I'll do that later. And then here we go, you guys. So this is card stock that I purchased from Walmart and I just turned them into dividers and then put all my months here. And then um, I just foiled some clear um, paper with the dates, um, excuse me, with the months on it and then just added them to the tabs. And I really thought I was going to need to have them closer together. And then I really didn't. So I could have spaced them out a little bit more, but nonetheless, here they are. And this is January. This is my monthly view for January. And then I have just a little um, flag here from Cloth and Paper. Um, it's like a transparent flag. And that's just to let me know what month I'm on. And then I have this kind of color coded. The black represents the bills. Uh, these are things like maybe I paid. Um, here are my payday. The little same, these little flag, corner flags here. Corner, excuse me. Um, transparent stickers from cloth and paper. This is from, this dot is from Planner Kate. These are the ones that I made, the black dots, and just kind of color code so I know what's going on and what was paid or what needs to be done or what's going on. These corner ones represent my Etsy paydays. And then I just put this flag here to know what month I'm on. I can just go right to it. So I'll move it from month to month. So these are the rest of the months, and these are the dashboards and what they look like. And then here's a dashboard I made myself out of a school plastic file from Walmart. Um, when it was school time, they had these um, files with the fold folder files. Yeah, folders, excuse me. These black plastic folders, and they were like 50-something cent. And I think I bought like two or three. I actually bought more, and I bought one in purple. And I decided to cut them up and put them, that was my plan for them anyway, and to put them in my um, micro. So I should have gotten more, but I did find this paper at, um, this material, excuse me, at Staples. I'll probably go back and get it, but I'm a, I think I can hold out to school time again to make me some more dashboards. And then I just have this coffee die cut here. Um, that I downloaded probably on Pinterest and a little hard paper clip here that came in an order. And then I just stuck a little bow here from um, Simply Gilded back here. And then here's a little card thing I made to stick in here. And as you can see, most of my sticky notes came off, but it's okay. I still have these, so I just stuck these here. Let me see if I can show you. So what I did was I ordered these cards off of Amazon. I'll leave the link below. They are just these clear um, acetate. They're not even acetate. I don't even know what this is. But they're like business card size. And I just stuck some sticky tape. Uh, whatever. These sticky notes. Sticky flags on there. And then stuck it in there. It's a little tight fit. That's why I can't really get it out. So when I get it out, I definitely need it. I also made... Let me show you guys... Uh, you'll see that in the back, what else I did with them. And I bought so many because um, I want to use them as like when I do um, freebies or some things just to add maybe to orders or to giveaways, different things like that. And then so over here are some more transparent flags, some sticky flags here. And this card pocket came with um, this planner. Yeah, when I say I got the best deal ever. <laughs> 
And I'm not even going to begin to tell you what I was going to sell it for. But um, this, uh, let me try to get it. Okay. These little sticky uh, post-it notes I got, they're like transparent and then they have a little bit of white on them. I, you'll see later how I use them. But also, I like to use them for notes. And so it came in a pack of two. Let me see if I have the original package. And this is what the package looks like. So it comes like this. So, and I think they have them in Walmart, but I got mine out of Staples. Oh, let me show you the ones I got out of Walmart. And I just like to keep them here so I can make notes, like sticky notes with these. So that goes there. This is a die cut that um, I printed last year that was in here that was just sitting here and I just left it. And here are the sticky notes that I got from Walmart. And you can use these to like hold a page, same thing here, put it here so that you know to get to something. The only thing is that I didn't like about this, um, someone had suggested these, but they said they took, I guess the color part off, but you can't take that color part off. And so the color part doesn't come off, but it's great if you just wanna put just a tiny bit of color and get to a certain section, you can flip right there. And so I love this little pocket. I actually want more, but I don't know if I'll be ordering from the Final Effects site. I'll see who else has these. And then I have a piece of vellum here um, from Digital Dash that I printed myself from that. If you're not um, signed up for Digital Dash, sign up for it. So here is um, that cardstock that I made into a dashboard. And this is basically my weekly. This is, I wanted to just like get rid of this one and keep this one but i really like the feel of this and it's been in here and i just decided to keep it so this is pretty much going into my weekly and then here is my weekly and another ollie clip and then this was last week how i planned last week um just again not a lot of stickers just basically pen to paper and highlighter so i just use this to close off that week so now that's like this is this week and so i still have some more planning to do um and i just use some washi tape thin washi tape to mark off that that's my day off and then for a little touch of color i added um this little sticker here from miss moss and then this little paper clip um i had them in my shop i was going to um, sell them at one point but I decided to just use them as freebies. The ones I have coming now are black and I just wanted to try the black ones and they're just too cute. Oh, this insert came from Brooklyn Grace Co. I downloaded these, that's what I liked about her site when I first started trying a minimal plan is that I could just download the inserts. Let's see, did I tell you where I got everything else from? So pretty much all my inserts come from Brooklyn Grace Co. And then now we're going into my daily and daily basically is me kind of doing my schedule daily tasks priorities things like that and then here is a laminating pocket that i made myself with just a wide clip to keep it closed and then um, my mom gave me a michael's gift card for christmas so i just keep that there because i want to go to michael's these are the little tiny dots that I made myself on some transparent paper. These are the no spin stickers from my shop. And then I took these um, stickers from a happy planner. I think this is from the mini. And um, just keep them in here so I can date my calendars. Back here, this undated. And then this came from Planner Kate. This is how it came and I just cut it. It came like that. And I just cut it because these are only the colors that I want to use at the present time. And I want to keep in my, um, this planner here. Okay, so again, this is my little laminating pocket. And then it goes into my daily. And um, this is just where I write down daily tasks, things I need to do. I've only done one day. It's undated, which is perfect for me. I don't have a few. I um, only have a few in here because I'm going to reprint some of these and um i just try to stick to these when it's just daily things i need to do and i have a lot going on 
And then I made this dashboard here from laminating and some vinyl that I had, and then a little sticker of the Louis Vuitton purse. I kind of wanted to just represent, I think my little thing is um, sharing. Um, I wanted it to kind of be like a window to the next divider, and this is pretty much what it looks like, and I love it. And this divider I printed from Pinterest, and then just double-sided it with a lady with some leopard heels and some jeans. Um, I got asked in my Instagram when I posted this on Instagram, like how do you search for certain things on Instagram? The best thing I can tell you is put in like illustration, like the girl in illustration, whatever you want, make sure you put it in like um, illustration or um, what is the other word? Clip art. And then one thing will lead you to another. That's how I found so many things. If I looked up girl illustration, a Vogue illustration, it just led me to so many different uh, classy things. And then here's another um, dashboard that I made from that um, folder, that black folder from Walmart. I had a little bit left over and then I cut it into a dashboard. This is my list section. And then here is some more artwork I got from Pinterest and I just printed out, made into a dashboard. And then that as well from Pinterest. And this is my list section. So here I just have certain lists, my grocery, uh, my hair, beauty products, like what I need, um, grocery, like what I need, Etsy, things that I need for that, for my business. And then it's just a bunch of the list. And then this is my budget section. Again, that same um, folder, I had it cut on my, I cut it on my silhouette and just made it into tabs. And these tabs, I tried to line them up like that so that they all kind of go together. This one should go like that. So that way they're kind of uniform. So this is my budget section. I did these on my silhouette as well. Just use some clear um, sticky paper and then just gold foiled it and I ran it through my laser machine. And then this is just a piece of leftover vellum from some envelopes I was making for a co-worker. Oh, but that's how it is. So I just stuck it there to represent the dollars and it's pretty to look at because it's kind of iridescent. So it looks gold in some areas, rose gold, and then it looks purple, it looks blue. So I like that. And then this is my budget for the month and I'm just trying to keep up on my expenses. And I had mentioned on Instagram, I'm working on my own um, budget inserts, um, printables, just for myself for, um, also me and my coworker are doing some things just for hairstylists. So I will keep you all up on that. And then here is another uh, dashboard that I created I'm using Pinterest artwork and that's her. And then here is a dashboard that I made out of uh, laminating paper. And then I just took those sticky notes, the sticky notes that I showed you guys, that's what this is. And this is my note section, just to you know highlight that this is my note section. And then I made this note paper from Canva. And do I have any notes? I just thought about it. So I don't have any notes. <laughs> and then this is my inbox section. And I took that same sticky paper and you're able to write on it. Let me show you guys. I don't want to waste these things because I really love these things and I probably could do some more. But you can just lay them on there and do like mental notes to yourself. And I'm thinking this is the pen that I use was this um, Pilot Precise V7 RT. It writes well on there. As you can see now i wouldn't suggest going right away and smudging it see it smudges but if you wait a little bit it won't smudge and then you can just write on that and just stick them in your dashboards or you can just stick them on pages because it's a sticky note like that and then i have this little peach um, thing here to remind me that this is my inbox and that i got something in here that i need to give myself attention to um, as I do this one here to let me know what month I'm on and I'm going to make a little cue card for that. I learned that from Maddie with Maddie plans. So 
And then I had this little dashboard. Um, I printed on vellum and I also did it on white. Um, I just like the colors and the Chanel, her hands, all that good stuff. But I cut it wrong, so I was going to take it out. As you can see, it just rips out. But I decided, you know what, what the heck. <laughs> I'm just going to leave it in there because I like it. Maybe I'll reprint it. And then this is my little inbox. Um, I want to do this on black, but I did this on Canva. And I just left it just as some extra paper. And then again, I can put my little sticky notes on there and write stuff. And then this is my order tracker. So I leave that in my inbox section. That lets me know to give attention to see what hasn't came, how long it's taking something to come. And then I have a few of those here. And then this is the ruler that came with the planner. Um, this planner just came so well equipped. I mean, with everything. It even had a little world map. It even had the monthly um, inserts like this, but they just wasn't the color that I was looking for. So I took those out. And then it came with this here, this little plastic envelope that opens on the side here. And I just have a journaling card stuck on top with another printout from Pinterest. Then here in the back, I have these from my shop when I had my um, website. And they're just some paid amount and whatever stickers here. And that's it there. Um, I have this clip here I got from a planner babe at a little planner meetup. Um, Karen, so she had made some little clips with that on there. And I like it because it's just cute. And then this is what I did with those clear things I showed you before. I made these washi strips. This one I had already made with the little um, chopping boards from the Dollar Tree. But when I got these, I just thought these were more sturdy. And I leave this blank one in here to cut my washi tape. So I just took some random washi tape that I had. I had this neutral tape and I thought that would go good with the aesthetic of my planner. And these are the washi tapes that I was using here. So I just added these like last night. So y'all didn't see this on my stories because I hadn't put it in there yet. I decided last night to kind of put those in there. And then back here, I have a freebie from Miss Moss. And I just leave it in there. So when I want to add a little color to the planner and I added her to my day yesterday. And then I have this pen here from Elaine Michelle, which I absolutely love. And I might've used this pen to write on that sticky tab. Let me see. I don't think so. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why I keep doing it, knowing it's going to smudge. <laughs> so that is the complete flip through of my planner. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this flip through. I'm in love with this planner. I just can't believe that last year, this, well, not last year, this time, but last year when I went to use this, I just couldn't. <laughs> I just didn't know, I guess, how to use it. Um, I tried minimum planning last year. And um, I said on my Instagram stories that I think Happy Planner came out with Wrong Wrong or something like that. And I got sidetracked and I just never returned to her. Not even like with putting the orders in because that's all that I was doing was putting just orders in. I didn't really know. I tried decorating her for me to like her. But I think because I started with the rings and was going into a TN, I just didn't want to keep going into rings. But now I've been in her every day. I love it. I love it. I'll continue to be a decorative functional planner, but I will also be a minimalist planner on my everyday things that need to get done. I don't feel pressured to sticker my day or show you guys that I've decorated for the week. Um, I'll be doing flip throughs periodically in here so that you can see how my days have gone. If you want to see more minimal planning, um, please let me know in the comment section because I will be happy to. Again, I'm new to it. Like I just think personally, it's a lot going on in here that is not that minimal. So it's still not that minimal, but to me, it's minimal because I don't have to sticker my month. I don't have to sticker my days or my weeks. Like I said, I put a sticker here, but it's still minimal. It's just not a whole, um, like a full box or quarter box or all that. It's just black and white. And that just works for me because I can plan without feeling guilty that I didn't show you guys how I planned. 
So again, if you want to see flip throughs of um, my minimal planner on a more consistent basis, let me know. So we'll do like a flip through at the end of the month or maybe like weekly. We'll just show a flip through of, you know, what happened during the week. However, just let me know. And as I update her and change things around, I'll definitely give you guys a flip through of that. But again, if it's something that you're interested in, please let me know. Um, thank you all so much for watching. If you'd like to see more from myself, hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so that you're notified. you're notified whenever I do upload new content. Again, if you are interested in weekly spreads, minimal planning, budgeting, DIY planners, planner related, anything planner related, make sure that you come back so that you can see more. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.